The submarine is a water-based vessel, which is capable of underwater travel for a long duration of time. Submarines generally stock a 90-day supply of food, so they can spend three months underwater they can reach a depth of about 800 feet. In the early 80s, Russia builds the Typhoon-class submarines, which 175 meters long and 23 meters wide. This is a longer two Boeing 747 airplane. Lots of countries operate submarines. The most powerful and often largest of these boats are capable of firing ballistic missiles, carrying nuclear warheads. Only six nations are confirmed to have these submarines. The US, UK, France, India, Russia, and China. In addition, analysts have found evidence suggesting that North Korea and Israel also each have nuclear missile-capable submarines. The total build cost of the submarines is approximately $320.5 billion. Approximately three to four years might be taken to complete the construction of the submarines. 134 crew working in the submarine. The engine is powered by a combination of diesel and electric propulsion. Submarines have an official top speed of 23 miles per hour when submerged. There have been reports that these can actually get up to around 35 miles per hour underwater. Let's explore the main parts of the submarine. This is the sonar. The sonar stands for sound navigation and ranging. It is a technique that uses sound propagation usually underwater. Sonar generates a sound wave that is reflected from target objects. These data were monitoring inside the submarine using a sonar radar display. We can capture two types of data using sonar. The first one is to identify any object on the water near the submarine. The second one is to determine the direction of the object near the submarine, such as ships, fishing boats, etc. This is SAIL. The submarine sails once housed the conning tower, command and communications data center, which include the periscope, radar, and communications masts. When above the water's surface, the sail serves as an observation platform. It also provides an entrance and exit point on the submarine that has enough freeboard to prevent the submarine from being swamped. Underwater, the sail acts as a vertical stabilizer. In some submarines, the sail also supports diving planes which are control surfaces used for underwater stability and steering. This is the periscope. A periscope is an instrument for observation over, around an object, obstacle, or condition that prevents direct line of sight observation from an observer's current position. A periscope basically act like a binocular. In the time of periscopic view, a crew will monitor the surface via the periscope. A periscope is a useful example of the law of reflection at work. The method used by the submarine rise and sink in the water is very simple. They follow Archimedes's principle. Any object fully or partially impressed in a stationary fluid is buoyant up by a force equal to the weight of the fluid displaced by the object. The statement sound is a bit confusing, right? Don't worry. Let's explore in another way. The submarine has three water-holding tanks, called ballast tanks. Submarine contained three ballast tank. The forward and rear trim tanks, and the main ballast tank. The main ballast tank is used to move the submarine up and down. And the trim tanks are used to balance the submarine. The submarines are usually in underwater. The tanks are filled with water. The submarine is heavier than the surrounding water. So it will sink. When there is no water in the ballast tanks. Or the ballast tank filled with air. The submarines floats on the surface of the water. The submarine wants to dive into the water. The air vent flaps open. Then the water will be filled into the ballast tank. Then the submarine sink into the water. The controlling surface of the submarine consists of a pair of rudders and fins. A pair of fins are used to control the heave and pitch independently. The fins are mounted at the aft in the vertical plane, are used to change the lateral direction of the submarine when in motion. A rudder is a primary control surface used to steer the submarine, which controls rotation about the vertical axis of an submarine. These are the propellers. The rotating propeller drives the submarine through the water. The propeller is powered by a combination of diesel and electric propulsion engines. The submarine propeller design is so important to both speed and noise levels, it remains one of the most secret aspects of submarine technology.